More cases of Smallenberg virus are being reported amid growing frustration at the time it is taking to confirm suspected outbreaks. Officially, government vets at laboratories like this one behind me have confirmed 11 cases of the virus, blamed for stillbirths and deformed lambs in sheep flocks across southeast England. That was on the 31st of January. I've since spoken to a further three sheep producers convinced that their flocks have also been infected by Schmalenberg. These farmers reported their suspicions to government veterinary experts up to a week ago. They're still awaiting test results. Two of the suspected cases are in Norfolk, the third is in Sussex. Many believe they are just the tip of the iceberg. I know my lambs are deformed and I know others have been stillborn. I just want to know if it's Schmallenberg, one of the farmers told me. Asked why test results were taking so long, DEFRA said it was updating case numbers as and when required. There were no daily updates because the disease was not notifiable, a DEFRA spokesperson told me. But neither was the department holding anything back or playing down the seriousness of the situation. Samples had to go through a number of tests in the laboratory, a process that was taking time because the virus was so new. In the meantime, many farmers have another question on their lips. If it isn't Smallenberg, just what is causing so many lamb losses this spring? This is Johan Tasker for Farmers Weekly in Bury St Edmunds, Suffolk.